Hello campers and welcome back to another video. Yes, it's not your imagination. My voice is extremely rough. I have come down with a cold of some sort and I know that um, a lot of people have been getting sick again with colds and um, I think even COVID is going around again, but um, I'm not running fever. My voice is just extremely um, what do you call it? Who's the singer that has the really deep voice? Uh, oh, um, oh God, Gay is his last name. Um, Marvin Gay. Is that it? That's it, right? So, um, so I'm going to probably have to stop periodically because my throat gets real scratchy and dry and I have my cup of coffee here <clears throat> that I'm drinking along the way. So, excuse me while I deal with that but we are here on one of our final videos of the Wizard of Oz camp it's all about the Emerald City and the Wizard of Oz and then Dorothy um, gets to go home so yeah so we've done our complete journey with um, Dorothy and this has been so much fun you guys I've really enjoyed this camp I hope you have too from looking what I've gotten on social media from you guys. It's just been amazing. I even got some friendship pins from my friend Hope. And um, I'm going to be putting those in my book right now. So thank y'all. This is so fun. Okay. So let's get after it. I'm going to take one more sip. Before I start talking. Before I start working on the Oz uh, page. And starting to get conclude my book. Hmm. Thank you. So last night, <clears throat> so we're actually supposed to be, today is Saturday, where I had it on the calendar to do a, um, to do a, um, oh gosh, my brain, um, a summer party tonight, but I actually have an event tonight, so I'm not going to be able to do it. I work, we have a fundraiser here in our town, um, for the fire department, and I run the, um, cash register, I mean, the credit card machines at the end, there's an auction, and, um, so I do the credit card machine, so it, I will be gone for a few hours this evening, and so I thought, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have my slumber party last night, which I shared it on Instagram and in a reel. It is basically a, um, I had a slumber party for one, which was totally fine with me. <laughs> My daughter had gone to a water park, and so she didn't get home till late. And then my husband is a volunteer fire department fireman, and they and somebody was having like a little gathering at their house last night, so he was at that. So I've just been I I had the house to myself except for Pokey, which sometimes he doesn't make it very enjoyable because he wants his family members to all be home, so he will constantly watch the door, which can and bark at every little noise thinking that someone's coming home, which can be very annoying, especially when, um, for myself, I was not feeling the best, and so I was a little annoyed with him, but his little heart, he just wants all his people home. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. So, um, and I love these. Thank you, Hope, very much. Um, so yeah, so that was what I did last night. I, um, so my, I was going to, let me take another sip. I can feel my throat getting scratchy again. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you. Sorry about that. So my, um, evening, my slumber party was for one, which I'm totally fine with that. I don't mind being at home by myself or this book is getting so chunky that the last time I opened it up, I had to like. Um, I should have taken this out. <coughs> or maybe I'll do this page. I'm going to take this out. And the last time I did that, I couldn't close it. And then I couldn't get my pages. I had to redo my, all my pages, like, singly, you know. Because it's getting so fluffy. But, uh, so, okay, so, I think what I'm going to do is kind of, um, Let's see what we got here. I got my Home Again stuff out as well. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do as far as... Because I'll have back-to-back -back, uh, Emerald City items. So... 
but we forgot the flying monkeys come. You guys, if anything, the whole movie freaks me out. It was those flying monkeys. So, okay, so this is kind of towards the end. And the flying monkeys kind of come in between, but I have a page in here um, that has a little monkey die cut in it. Where is it? But yeah, so I did a summer party for one. I set up my table. I made it all nice and pretty. Oh, here it is. Over the monk, but the lions on that page. Um, and so, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No big deal. Um, so, oh shoot, my fluffy book hit my wand, my wand container that has a bunch of wands in it. <laughs> wand vase. That's what it is. Okay, let me just rearrange some autumns here. Um, yeah, I'm a little scattered today, but I'm, I had, um, I mean, I've been on this kick of wanting pancakes and especially when I'm not feeling well, it's like, it's like a, it feeds the soul. I'll know what happened. I'll tell you how the pancake issue, the pancake issue, it's not an issue. It can be an issue because they are not all the sugary syrup, bread, goodness, buttery bread goodness. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe I have to kind of like let stop eating them, but I'll tell you how the craving began. Um, I I don't know who bought it or did I buy it. I don't know. I'm kind of confused how all that came together, but um, you know, we could do a poppy page in between here too. Where's my poppy stuff? Um, because you know the poppy was a big deal in the, um, in the movie. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. I almost didn't want to come on and film, but you guys were, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Um, you know, we are, we are almost there. Um, and so... Um, the pancakes. We're talking about pancakes. Oh my gosh, stay focused. Stay focused, Rebecca. Stay focused. Okay. <laughs> so, the pancakes. I don't know where I got the syrup. If I bought it for something, I cannot remember. But you know the Cairo, uh, it's been around for years. And it's the clear Cairo syrup. My dad likes it on his pancakes, too. And uh, it's uh, light Cairo syrup is what it is. And I can't remember what recipe I bought it for. But I, it seems like I bought it to make something, and I didn't end up making whatever I was going to make. And so I had the light like, Cairo syrup, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that on pancakes. So I made pancakes one morning. Well, there's just something soothing about pancakes. And so, especially with that light, I'm not a big, like, other syrup fan. I mean, I do like it, but for some reason the light is my, I, I don't. I don't, if I don't have the light syrup, I'm not, a, like, I, I don't, like, go, oh, I need, I want pancakes. But when I have the light carol syrup, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want some pancakes. Does that make sense? So I have this light carol syrup. And last night, I did not feel, I didn't feel like eating anything, like, I don't know. I needed a comfort, comfort food, right? So I made, um, me pancakes, and I ate them for one. And it was fabulous. It was so wonderful. <laughs> and so, okay, I'm going to put this smack dab in the middle. Because I want that emerald city in there. <clears throat> Look at that green. So anyway, that's what I did. And I had gone to the bookstore uh, yesterday. I had an appointment in town. So I was close to the half price books. I'm like, I'm going to pop in here. Because I always like to see what little golden books they have. You know, it's my my thing right so I go in oh my gosh you guys I found the cute some of the cutest little golden books and um also uh, bought me some magic school bus I get reference to her a lot that the school bus driver Miss Witzel is that her name or anyway I found some books and I thought I had never really read them or if I have it's been a long time since the kids were little so I bought them because I'm like 
what are they talking about? There's, I always hear that from people when I go around. They're like, do you know the Magic School Bus? You remind us of her. So I'm like, who is this person? So anyway, I'm going to educate myself on who this person is. And I'm pretty sure, it, the book sounds super familiar. Um, so I'm sure the kids uh, watched, you know, had them. So um, anyway, um, moving on to last night. So I got to go through my books and, oh, I actually bought a, I didn't, I, first I had it in the video, but then I took it out because I wasn't sure if my daughter was going to watch it, but I was so excited because I found her. Yes, I'm already looking. Well, it just popped on. I, I saw a book online that was suggested online, and she's she's a very big reader. And um, so I found her the book, and I'm gonna put it away for Christmas. Yes, I'm already thinking about Christmas. And you guys, I have oh my gosh, I have something up my sleeve for Christmas with you guys. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I'm in the planning stages of it. Um, but anyway, we're not talking about Christmas. We're talking about Wizard of Oz and our slumber party last night for one. How much fun I had by myself. <laughs> and so I, uh, oh, so then I put in um, Bridget Don Jones' Diary, which is like <clears throat> one of my favorite movies to watch. I didn't get a whole lot of scrap, I mean, journaling done because... Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, I pl I'm, I got organized, does that count? And so, I still have lots of playing to do, which I'm totally fine with, but I organized my space, um, and then um, watched the movie, which it always makes me smile, and then um, that was about it with my slumber party. It was fine with me, though. I went to bed early because my throat is just acting all sorts of that I have that thing I need to do today. Oh, and I'm getting my hair done today, y'all. I'm going back red for the hot for the fall. I'm ready. Can't help it. I love it so much. I know there's no butterflies in the Oz, but I just have to... These green butterflies just fit the bill if you ask me and they're sparkly so um they're going in <laughs> plus you could use your own imagination and you could say um he gave dorothy wings which he didn't really give wings but he could have given her wings to get home right okay so that's about it. But I found these markers, you guys. These were in my stash. And they're supposed to be sparkly markers. And I bought them off Amazon. They don't really sparkle. They're, um, what are they? paint markers. But they're supposed to sparkle. But they are, I like adding, using them to add color. But I'm going to show you what I do use to add sparkle. And I bought this at the Scrapbook Expo a few years back. And I absolutely love it. We should try to find it online. It's called, it says Imagine Sheer, Sheer Shimmer Stick Dauber Top Sparkle. And they actually had different color like rose gold. I think I got a rose gold. And adds, it says, ooh, adds an elegant sparkle to paper products. Light up your design with translucent fine shimmer effect. Okay, um, <clears throat> but I bought I bought these at, and it really does add shimmer. I don't know if it picks it up on, on camera, but oh, that paper is not the best. This this paper pack. I think one of you guys asked about the paper pack. I think Gail, did you ask about it? Um, I'll leave it below the link below. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I think it's like eleven dollars, twelve dollars, something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Can you guys see Shimmer? Possibly. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. So, okay. So, we're at the Emerald City. He's being a grouchy bear because he says, you know, you need to go give me the Wicked Witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And so Dorothy says, your wish is my command. No, she didn't really. She said, what do you mean? But um, this I made, and I feel like I need to pop it into the book, you know? So I, I, I alone just love this page with the Emerald City. I don't really, <clears throat> excuse me, feel like I need to add anything. Um, but I do somehow want to clip this into my book. And I don't know if I should... Take, try to take this metal thing off because I glued it on there fairly good. Let me get my scissors, see if I can pop it off. Because I'm thinking I can glue it into. Oh, that was easy. Okay, not as hard as what I thought it was going to be. Because I really like it. And basically, I use tissue paper, and this is to make it more sturdy for me to wear on my shirt I put this metal I mean this wooden um, wooden circle on it and then I have put some tissue paper and I literally layered I've made a rainbow out of pipe cleaners and I just layered the Glinda with the Wizard of Oz this was also in the kit and then I just put some gems and some flowers on there so it, it's just the layering process for that but I want to somehow add it in here. Um, so we're gonna add this in here like this. I just love that green, do you not? I, I'm starting to see more and more of the green coming around and I don't know if it's like one of the colors of the year or what, but you know what I could do? I could just add it onto the back side here and I don't have my hot glue gun glued in, but Let's go get that. Let's plug that thing in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because we're going to work on some more stuff while we're here. Plug it. Plug this in. Okay. So this thing is plugged in. So my sister and I were talking about like what would we do if um, if we had a choice of clicking our heels three times and wishing to go anywhere and she said that would be difficult well I me being safe as and a repetitive person of love of when I find a place I love it dearly <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a quick sip oh look here here's some little poppies in here mm. oh and I haven't put my hot air balloon in here just one second let me look over here so <clears throat> I've asked if I had to click my heels together where would I go right and <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I don't mean to keep clearing my throat. I know that's probably somewhat annoying. Well, I'm a creature of habit and like to be, you know, like to be not, um, what's the word? I don't want to say not adventurous because I'm totally adventurous, but if I like a place, I like to go back again and see it again. You know, I'm not... I, want, I guess that's what I like to do. So I get to know it a little bit and then I go back and I enjoy it even more, you know. And um, and so that's my um, thought process on that. But anyway, um, make sure this is heating up. So if I had a place to go, I would go back to, which we are, I'll have to tell you more about that later. But I would go back to that. You know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with this bridge in Vermont. <laughs> in Waitsfield. I love that bridge so much. Um, I think it's just because it's an... Uh, I like... I love seeing how other people... I'm not... I Like, I've mentioned this several times before on here. Like, I don't know that world of, like, not having heat so much. You know, in the... And having snow and having freezing temperatures and I mean I've lived in Texas my whole entire life so that is such a different culture to me that I'm just like I'm curious you know I want to know 
I want to live it, to be honest with you. I'm curious how I would, um, I'm going to put this page on here, I think, because this is where she wants to go home, and then he takes the flight, right? <clears throat> um, this needs to say Omaha. <laughs> I think I always thought that was so weird that they picked Omaha. I wonder where that came from. I'll have to read my book and see. Because this book here is really cool because it has like... Um, I've been tearing it up, by the way, you guys. But um, it talked... Like, why did... Uh, I'm curious. Why did he pick Omaha? You know... Um, Let's see here. Maybe not. I may not have it in here. Um, but just curious, like, some of the choices, you know, he made. I always question, like, was there a thought process behind Omaha? But anyway, I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Um. Um, topic here. So, the places that I would want to go is back to the bridge, you know, because I love that little town. We're actually, and this is what I was going to say, we're actually going back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, yeah, we're going back. And, and, um, uh, I'm going to get to see the bridge. <laughs> But the other thing is there was a, it was, it's a very artsy town, and so we literally just happened to stay the night there, and, um, on our way, we were, we were doing a really touristy thing last year, like we went and saw, um, the place that always pops up if you pop up Vermont this time of the year, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry if my brain's not working today, but. Anyway, we went and we went to that place and we were like, oh my gosh, we should have spent more time in Waitsfield, you know, which is what we're going to do um, this time. But actually, this time we are also going to be doing, we're going to be um, doing Waitsfield and then doing all the things like the apple cider. Oh, I get to go to the Robert Frost Museum, you guys. He is like one of my most favorite poets, poems. Poet, poets, poets, and he is, so we get to do that, anyway, I, I don't want to just spill all the beans, because we're talking about Wizard of Oz, but we're talking about where I want to go, that's where I'd want to go, <laughs> back to Vermont, <laughs> um, I know my sister's like, oh gosh, I keep thinking about all these other places, well, the reason I'm like, hesitant about picking a place that I haven't been, <coughs> not that I'm not Maybe I'm playing it safe. Maybe I am playing it safe. But, you know, it's like, what if I get there and I don't like it? And I wasted my wish. But then I guess I would know that I didn't like it. I'm going to take another drink. My coffee has gotten cold. And um, I'm down to a couple sips. So, we got to make it through this video. I just want you guys to know that I really do enjoy doing these videos. It's, um... I don't know. When I do them, I feel happy, and I'm glad you guys are here, and you enjoy them, and I enjoy your comments, and I promise I'm going to get to them. I've just been trying to get this month's kit out the door, um, which I'm mailing everything out. Today is the final, final mail out. Let's sing it together. I'm so excited when I get down to the final um, packages in the mail. I'm like, yay, everybody's getting their package, and they're on their, ma on their way. I'm just including this because I just love this page. And look at the little tin man. He's got his little leg up. Like, tell me your story. Okay, but Dorothy sat, right? Because she can't get home. Um, but we're going to put this thing in here and write on it later. Excuse me. I'm just going to staple this in like that. And then I'll write on it. I think I'm. This is where I'm gonna do my journaling about if I had any place to go, where would I go? 
<clears throat> not to Omaha. Even though I've never been to Omaha. And that would be, I do have that on my radar to go. So, someday. Okay. So, this is going to go like this, right? Where did we say we were going to, oh, yeah. And this place, this is going to have to need something on the back there. You know, we can't have any white spaces. But, I should put this in right like here. And we're going to put our Wicked Witch sticker because she's got to have, this kind of came her own little book, did it not? <laughs> she has to have, she has to, I'll have to say, but before she can get their wishes, the Wicked Witch must be, must be gone. Okay. So we're going to glue this in here. I'm just going to add the glue. <clears throat> Let's see if it's gotten hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. Let's see, does this thing cover this whole thing? I think I'm just going to add it right here. This is extremely hot, hot glue, Gorilla Glue, so it should... Oops, oh, don't fall down, don't fall down. It should stick. Oops, of course I always... I want to make sure I can shut the book though. Okay. Oops, it's kind of. That's what I'm afraid of. That Oz hits right on. Dog on it. Okay, it's going to bend a little here, but there's not much I can do. So I cut it. And I don't want to cut it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Did I even put it on there straight? But I kind of like this little chunkiness, right? Isn't it cute? Okay, so, and you know what? I'm going to have to add a butterfly to kind of like bring it all in. I know. There's no butterflies. I know. I know. But maybe in my land it is. <laughs> There's sparkly butterflies. Okay. That kind of ties that all together. Okay. So we're at the Emerald City. I'm going to have to pop this in, but I'm going to do it. Because see it. Look how... Oh, it's getting chunk, chunk. I can't pop it over. Um, okay. This one, I'm going to have to pop in too. But this one, Dorothy gets to go home. And I'm not... Oh, here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll take this out. I love this. This was another thing we received at our little event. So I think I'm going to pop this like that. And I'm going to just clip this in for now. Aren't these cute? These little pom-pom clips. They came from Hoblobs, you guys. And I put them, this was part of the swap, which I'm still doing a video. That's going to be my last video. With the flip, we're going to do what I got as a swap. I'm actually going to show my daughters what she got and then um, do a flip. And that will be our Oz camp. And it's been so much fun. So thank you all so much. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to add... We're going to move this out of the way so we can work on this last page. Um, and this is There's No Place Like Home. I'm going to have to be tricky about where I cut this because um, I want it to tuck it underneath that. This is also part of that paper pack, you guys. So, oh look, her sh sparkly shoes. We'll have to use that somewhere. Um, so again, the paper is adorable. It's just, it's just very glossy, <clears throat> glossy. So it's kind of. It's kind of um, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> hard to like do the marker thing on it even though I wrote on it with regular markers the other day and it, it didn't have I didn't worry about it smearing at all
opened. It's got issues, but that's okay. We it's a good hole punch. And that that is just pretty in itself, is it not? And then I want to add these sparkly shoes on the other side. So that worked out perfectly. Excuse me. Okay, let's see if we can trim this up on this side without cutting any of the ribbon. I know, maybe I should have did something a little different, but that's okay. We can do, I just didn't want to, I'm just going to kind of tuck this over. Sorry, I was out of camera there. Like that, just so I can kind of see. And then what I might do, I'm going to follow the gingham line, and then I'll come back and add a piece of washi tape. Since that edge is, didn't cover all of that. Where's, I just saw my rainbow washi. Oh, here it is. I do want to include um, the fun fact about the shoes, you know, because in the book they are um, silver, but they turn red, and for the movie to show up against the yellow brick road better. Perfect. Okay, let's punch it out. And then, I like this page because it has the poppies on it, but I have some other pages in here that have um, poppies. I think I'm going to put that up there, and then I have to, I have to include, <laughs> I love this picture, of her running as fast as she can to Aunt M. So cute, you know? I may have to cut the A out. Oh, and look, her shoe falls off. She's running so fast. Okay. So we're going to add this. We're going to put another layer. We love layering things up. Turn this out just a little. Keep that hot air balloon and the um, rainbow on there. Okay, let's punch it out. Whoops. What is going on? This guy must have some glue on it. Um, all right, and there's no place like home. Isn't that cute? That turned out so cute. All right, we should put a, we should put a, <laughs> I'm good, I'm silly. I'm like, oh, I should put a butterfly on it. Okay. Um, 
so there's no place like home. This kindness, we're going to move that up by the Tin Man. But with this, I'm going to add this because it kind of layers this up. And then we're home again. And then all of this will get moved about throughout. Oh, wait. We have to put this in. So this is going to get moved up. Do, do y'all want to do that with me really quickly? Okay, let's do that. So we're going to start here. And this is where it gets so fluffy that I have to kind of mess around with stuff. Oh, does that make y'all nervous? <laughs> that I took all that out. You know what, we could add... Remember how we were curious what we we're going to do with that? Okay, let's do this. So... The Tin Man came before Oz, so let's put our random act of kindness in there, where the Tin Man is. He's right here, so let me put mine, because we have to have, whoops, where is that? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, we're going to put that there. We're going to put this in because then we have our lion, right? And then we have this badge of courage. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oops, I'm putting it in wrong. Here we go. Okay. Get the prong sticking out there. Then... I can put the Mad Libs because that can go, I'm going to put actually like a, I'm just going to pop, pop this back here. I like to have, sometimes I like to just have like another piece of paper just because it's, it does curve in the back. Um, Toto can actually be at the, closer to the beginning, but we'll, 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 we'll do that. And then, there's no place like home in which I should put. Let's see if we can, I'm going to put this in here and then we're going to like staple that to that right there. And then we start adding, where's our, where's our Dorothy Page? There she is. We're going to add her in, our Dorothy Page. And you don't have to put things in sequence. I'm just, I just feel like I need to. I'm going to include that, and then we have, okay, so they all get their, right, their items, but first they have to, oh wait, we're going to put the Omaha, the color, color hot air balloon Omaha, oh lord, okay, we have an issue. Not a problem. Let's see if I can hold this down. Like this. If not, we can fix it. The problem is I gotta punch the holes here. Because I can't pop this in. The Omaha's in the way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pop the... I'm gonna punch those. Okay. So... Should I put this first? I think I want to put this first. This one. And then this one. Because they all get those their items first and then they're contemplating about how to get Dorothy home. Okay, and then I want oh, I love the shimmer. <clears throat> but first, let's go back. Which must be dead. It sounds so terrible, does it not? Or maybe here. This goes first. <laughs> and then the witch must be dead. We'll move her up there. And then here's the Wizard of Oz. Is there anything else? I have some more little pages, but we can do some little tip-ins here and there with these. These are the final pages, and I want to do those at the beginning. So, Okay, so let's move our book back. Put this over here. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to punch a hole. Mm. 
Oops. I should have glued it a little further out. Oops. Almost. No problem. Fixed it. Now let's close it. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, look at that fluffiness. You guys, this is called pure joy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Crack myself up, don't I? No. All right. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and I'm going to do one. I'm going to do this offline because I'm not sure yet. Um, you know what? We didn't do our flying monkeys. We did not do the flying monkeys. So I'm just going to kind of pop that on there. Um, where can we fit those creepy things in? You know, this is going to be off sequence, but um, since I have my little monkey page here and then it goes into the lion, I'm going to go ahead and just top, pop them in here on that page. It's out of sequence, but I don't know what else to do as far as... Um, because it would have to go somewhere in here and I've already like. So we're just going to put them in. They're going to be a little out of sequence. I can deal with that. Creepy. First they beat them up and then, then they're happy. <laughs> so I'm just going to actually add this page in here like that. Because you have to, have to have the flying monkeys in. I noticed too that I didn't have really a Wicked Witch page. I think I'm going to cut this little monkey. Oh, he got Toto though. I can't really cut him off. I just don't want to take the pages out again, but it looks like I'm going to have to. <clears throat> I think when it gets in the middle, it gets better. Let's get our book out and hold that place down. Okay. <laughs> the joy of junk journaling. So I'm just going to literally come in here and add the glue stick to the back of this page and pop it in. And when I go through this before I do my final flip, I can always like add different sparkles and, oh, I don't want to cover this guy up. Whoops. I can add like different sparkles and um, charms and journaling and, um, pictures and stickers and all the things, right? So that's kind of what I'm going to do before I do my final flip. Alright. Cannot forget the flying monkeys. And I'm going to make, I'm going to bend that page. There it goes. Because I really want this one front and center. Because I'm going to write definitely something about how creepy those things are. <clears throat> Alright. And if I can find that other die cut that goes with it, I'll add that in there. So we have to have the flying monkey page. <sighs> Man, that's fun. Alrighty then. That concludes this video for now. You guys. Oh my um, I'm gonna, um, I have to add these pages in. I will come in and do like one final sweep, as I mentioned, adding journaling, stickers, etc. And then we will have a final flip and I will show you swap. And that will conclude our, um, wonderful, wonderful camp, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.